We're learning more about the layoff of over 600 contract workers in construction halted at the new long rail mill at Evraz, Rocky Mountain Steel in Pueblo. The fate of the $302 million project remains in question tonight, and it's now the subject of a federal lawsuit. A subsidiary of Evraz filed the suit against Wanzek Construction, the company it hired to complete the project, alleging the company caused millions of dollars in damages since the start of construction back in 2021. Maggie, News 5's Maggie Bryan spoke to the parties involved in this lawsuit as well as Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisar. So what did they have to tell you, uh, Maggie? Yeah, Rob, Mayor Gratisar told me around 150 of the 666 contract workers now out of work live in Pueblo. He says Evraz has not yet found a new general contractor to finish the project, but it hopes to have a company on board in the next two to three months. What has been called a once-in-a-generation level of investment by Governor Polis has come to a temporary halt in Pueblo. The new Evraz steel mill project that broke ground in June of 2021 is now without 600 employees after cutting ties with its general contractor, Wanzek Construction. A subsidiary of Evraz filed a federal lawsuit against Wanzek, alleging the company caused more than $130 million in damages while performing incomplete and sloppy work, endangering the safety of workers and creating other project delays. It's not the end of the world for this project. Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisar is back backing Evraz's decision to hire a new contractor. When you have a project that's this massive and this complicated, you're going to run into glitches from time to time and you'll run into delays. I'm sure Evraz never anticipated they'd have to change general contractors, but sometimes that happens in order to get a project done. Wanzek has filed a counterclaim denying all of the safety accusations and accusing Evraz of delays at the start of the project. Wanzek sent a statement to KOAA saying in part, we believe this decision was wrongful as the problems on the project stemmed from delays in the owner failing to deliver the design. Despite the immediate loss of contract workers, Evraz says, quote, We look forward to retaining many of the project's current subcontractors as we work to complete this project, which is something Mayor Gratisar is pushing for. They recognize it's in their interest to keep those people on the job that are, are here and that want to work. And according to Wanzek's counterclaim, the project is supposed to be finished by this February. However, according to their statement, less than half of the project is currently complete.